One day following the Screen Actors Guild Awards, on Sunday afternoon in Santa Monica, the 39th Film Independent Spirit Awards red carpet took place at Barker Hanger. Jessica Chastain looked stunning in a dress with a leafy design and cut-out features reminiscent of an electric blue mermaid. Natalie Portman chose a cropped jacket with three-dimensional roses on it to go with a crimson miniskirt. In a silver-studded white sequin jumpsuit, and Hathaway looked stunning. Michelle Williams looked stylish in her multicolored mini-dress with a 60s vibe, accessorizing with striking gold ankle boots. Jessica, 46, looked amazing in her dark blue dress with cut-out accents that exposed her bare body. The dress had a dramatic neckline and foliage shapes that transitioned into fringe details throughout the ensemble. She chose a deep side part and wore her long red hair loose and wavy to go with the gorgeous outfit. Under her smoky eye makeup, Jessica applied a pink lipstick on her pout and added a hint of rosy blush to her cheeks. Natalie, 42, showed off her toned legs in a two-piece outfit that included a matching skirt and a cropped cardigan that revealed a little bit of her torso. Large, three-dimensional roses were scattered throughout the top and bottom pieces, which were accessorized with small, round gold clutches and matching strappy heels. Natalie wore tiny gold earrings as a subtle touch, pulling back her brown locks. And 41, looked stunning in her silver-studded, sleeveless, high-neck sequin white jumpsuit. The stunning actress let her long brunette hair loose around her and accessorized the one-piece with diamond jewelry. Her gorgeous facial features were accentuated to perfection by her recently cropped fringe. Michelle wore a vibrant, long-sleeved mini-dress with crystal buttons and a waistband embellished with crystals. The actress accessorized the ensemble with a striking round diamond ring, black and gold boots. With her rose-patterned, pink 60s-inspired dress, strappy red heels, and matching clutch, Anna Kendrick looked ready for spring. The movie star's low-cut dress, which emphasized her narrow waist, showed off her cleavage. Anna accessorized her sophisticated floral dress with a sleek hairstyle, a glossy pink lipstick on her lips, and a center part. Kimta Brunson looked stunning in a gold strapless dress with matching gold platform heels and flower appliques along one side. While Belle Pauli wore a geometric printed button-up blazer dress with purple heels and white scrunch socks, Lily Gladstone looked stunning in a brown and black patterned dress with black platform heels. The 33-year-old Emma Roberts wore her blonde hair loose about her in a black cut-out dress. Emma chose to wear a provocative dress that highlighted her toned figure, and she let her blonde hair loose in waves around her. While Hannah Einbinder and Journey Smollett wore black dresses, Numi Rapace opted for a patent black jacket and boots, and Rachel Senat wore a black sequin jumpsuit. Natalie Morales and A.D. Bryant were dressed in all black gowns with cut-out elements. Emma Corrin, 28, accessorized her black dress with a distinctive pattern that had a hand and a heart around her chest. She also wore pointed black heels and green tights adorned with crystals. Billie Eilish and Stephanie Sue were both dressed in black button-up shirts and pants. Greta Lee and Molly Gordon both selected white mini-dresses, and Molly accessorized with a matching blazer. Aya Naomi King looked stunning in a black strapless crop top and shorts accessorized with a braided silver crop top and skirt. Ryan Michelle Bathe, accompanied by her husband Sterling K. Brown, looked stunning in a strapless silver sequin gown, gold strappy shoes, and a statement necklace. Ali Wong, star of Beef, flaunted her sculpted figure in an open back, high neck silver dress. For its 39th year, Hollywood's flagship event for the independent film and television industry, the Film Independent Spirit Awards, made a comeback. Sunday, February 25th, in Santa Monica, California, was the day of the event, which was hosted by Saturday Night Live star A.D. Bryant. The live stream will no longer be accessible on television, so many tuned in to watch it on YouTube instead. When the nominations were first made public in December, American Fiction, May December, and Past Lives had the most nominations, five apiece. A day after winning the Screen Actors Guild Awards, Ali Wong was awarded Best Lead Performance in a new scripted series for her work on the Netflix series Beef. 
Old Man, Steven, Sonny, Jake, and the rest of the cast and amazing crew of Beef, I wouldn't be here without you, Ali stated during her victory speech. This is the finest. Her run of outstanding performances at the 2024 Screen Actors Guild Awards, 2024 Critics' Choice Awards, 2024 Golden Globe Awards, and possibly most importantly, the 2023 Primetime Emmy Awards for Beef has come to a stop with the Independent Spirit Awards. Best New Scripted Series went to Beef as well. Divine for the Holdovers, Joy Randolph was awarded Best Supporting Performance. The Holdovers is a beautiful testament of what can happen when a small group of passionate people are given the chance to come together and tell the story, Divine said in her acceptance speech, praising the independent cinema industry. After winning Best Feature, Past Lives Defeated All of Us, Strangers, American Fiction, May-December, Passages, and We Grown Now to Take First Place for the Evening. Director Celine Song expressed her gratitude with these sincere remarks as she accepted the award. I've been given this wonderful opportunity to speak on behalf of these incredible, amazing filmmakers up here. The 36-year-old director had won Best Director earlier in the evening, and she was honored separately for the feature. For his role in The Last of Us, Nick Offerman received recognition in the Best Supporting Performance in a new scripted series category. Budgets ranging from $10,000 to $28 million were among the nominees, who came from over 27 different nations. The Spirit Awards nominating committees used three criteria to choose nominees, economy of means, originality and provocativeness of subject matter, and distinctiveness of vision. BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and People of Color makes up 32% of the nominated writers, directors, producers, and technical artists while 40% of the nominees are women. Of the performers nominated, 40% are BIPOC and 49% are women. Furthermore, according to an organization press release, 34% of the 2024 nominees are BIPOC and 42% of the nominees are women. Writers, directors, actors, cinematographers, editors, critics, film festival programmers, casting directors, and other active members of the film business comprised the nominating committees for the show. According to the release, this year's Spirit Awards nominating committees are made up of 56% women, 3% non-binary people, 3% transgender people, and 49% people of color. 29% of them identify as LGBTQ+, and 3% as people with disabilities, PWD.